today I want to share with you two sewing makes and one of them I actually showed you before but I just made an amendment to it so I will show you that one the first one that I have is I had to write it down Sim simplicity 8546 and that is this shirt dress and I purchased this fabric from Hobby Lobby and I bought some clear buttons so I put buttons all down the front it does have a couple darts in the front the sleeves I did a little different it it called for a kind of like a cuff situation but I didn't want that so I just left it like this it's got I think those are yeah some pleats at the bottom of the uh, the the bottom of the sleeve and it has pockets yeah and that is pretty much it I do have clips of me in the dress make it does have a pleat in the back also and I'm happy with it I really like the way it turned out and I have some footage of me actually wearing this but I realized later that I didn't take any footage of me actually wearing it open so I just wanted to kind of throw it on right now and just step back a little bit and just show you what it looks like actually worn open so this is it okay let me step back hope you can see Hope I'm in there. Hope I'm in the camera. Okay. So this is what it's really long. So that's what it looks like open. Yeah. I am really happy with this. And I like that it's versatile. So you can wear it open. You can wear it closed. You can wear it with jeans or pants or just plain, just as a dress. Okay. So the next item that I want to show you, which I've shown before, is this McCall's 7630. And it is a scrap buster top. And I showed this in one of my other videos and I was describing it and I mentioned how the top was short and that I would have to wear something under the top or come up with some creative way to wear like some high-waisted jeans. I realized later that I didn't want to be limited to those ways so I just decided to take a pair of jeans that um, I was planning to donate and I turned the pants, I took the pants leg turned it horizontally and then I just cut out a rectangle so I measured the size of the bottom of this and then I added a few you know um, inches on the side maybe a five eighths or an inch or so on the side just to cover the seam allowance and then I made a band I just sewed the two rectangles together made a band and then I just attached it to the bottom of the top and I surged around the edge and just left that as is so now I can wear this and I don't have to worry about how short it was. I can um, wear it and it's a little bit longer. So yeah, I'm happy with this little scrap buster. And now it has five different uh, fabrics in it. But I like it. I really like it a lot. I'm happy with it. My love share for today is regarding goldfish crackers. So goldfish crackers, only about 40% of the goldfish crackers have an actual smile and a little eye imprinted into the cracker when it's baked so the rest of the crackers in the package that you might be eating are plain so they won't have any smiles or they won't have an eye in the baked into them and also something else that i found out that i thought was so cute is if you turn the back of the uh, goldfish crackers around and you read the ingredients it says made with smiles I thought that was so cute. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.